As you guys can see right here, I got a Ford 8.8. It's got an Artec truss on it. And we're gonna start to rebuild. One of the first things, if you're here, is tips and tricks on how to install the bearing races. You need to do this for the pinion. There's a front and a rear. What I need right now need the bearings. Well, not necessarily the bearings, but I need the races. I have the races right here. Now, you could just automatically take them, hit them in. It's not a big deal. It takes a lot of bit of force, but I'm going to show you a little trick to get them in easier. So now to install the bearing races, you're gonna need a special tool. And it's not very expensive either. This one here is kind of a fancy one. It's like an impact driver style. It's got all your cups. So basically what you do is that you're gonna find one that is best going to suit your bearing races. And these are the ones that I'm going to use. This one here need to be slightly smaller because you need can't have it bigger than the race itself because you got to go down in there. You're going to need a big heavy hammer. That's like my little Thor hammer works really good. Got the bearing race punch ready. Go inside the house. Pop them right in the freezer for a few hours. Now you can separate them too. It's not a big deal. To help make the races go in a little easier too, once I pull them out of the freezer, I just got a little bit of gear oil. And you just wanna lubricate where the race is gonna be. It's good practice to clean out where the bearing race sits to make sure that there's no dirt or anything in there that might give you any issues when you go to install it. Lubricate some gear oil. Just like that. Grab the bearing race. All right. Little bit of love, it's cold, went right in. A little bit of lubrication. Grab the last one. So in here is gonna be a little different. I might have to get the longer. I don't have a longer handle. Got that bearing race in. I just wanna have a look down below. Make sure that the race, the top of the pinion where the flange is, is seated. And I'm gonna roll it over. Make sure that one there is seated. Cause that one there did not go in easy. Yeah. Just looking down there and it's seated. So there you have it. That's a pretty quick, easy video. Freezing it does help out, except sometimes when it doesn't quite go in straight at first hit, but bearing races are in, we can continue on. One thing I do wish, I know it doesn't come in these kits obviously, is that I wish you had a longer handle, like twice that length to hit that race in the pumpkin, make things a lot easier. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll see you guys in the next one.